What is, in your opinion, the biggest flaw of the human body? Pretty much any autoimmune disease. The body can literally kill itself trying to protect itself. How close the food pipe and wind pipe are. Allergies, or said another way, your immune system flipping the fuck out because you bumped into a peanut, dust mite, shrimp, cat, etc. The absolute randomness in its strengths versus vulnerabilities. A person can jump from a plane, have their parachute not open and survive the impact. Or you can slip in the shower, break your fucking neck, and die on the spot. Breathing hole equals food hole. Squids have it worse, food passes through their brains. But then again I have never heard of a squid choking to death on a bite of bruschetta. There are many, but notably to me is how easily damaged the knee joints and the spine are. They next to impossible completely repair. Once damaged they are never really right again. If I wipe the wrong direction I could get an infection that could spread to my kidneys and kill me. My schlong is more like a schlort. How fragile the brain is. Teeth cannot repair themselves, I think. If a bone can heal back together why the hell can't a tooth fill in a micro hole? In a natural state, teeth are pretty damn important. The fact that there's so many things you can do to the human body without killing it but oh fuck slept wrong and pinched a nerve now I'm fucking paralyzed didn't happen to me but happened to a semi-distant family member a year ago. Put all these comments together and the human body seems like it's all just a piece of junk. Your brain replaying embarrassing moments over and over until you die. Cancer. Routine processes meant to repair the body create mistakes that in turn create tumors. Ectopic pregnancy ovaries are ovulating and doing their things. Eggs and what not. An egg decides enough is enough, and with the help of a hormone surge, wants out of that shit. Bigger and better things. So the egg literally punches out, and is supposed to go straight into the fallopian tubes, get fertilized while inside the tubes, and then plant in the uterus. You would think that the entrance of the fallopian tubes would connect right to the ovary? Now the opening of the fallopian tube has these little hairs, fimbriae, that are like wacky inflatable tube men in front of sketchy used car lots, and kind of guide the egg into the fallopian tube. Sometimes, the eggs don't feel like it going, and they venture off. And if fertilized, it's considered an ectopic pregnancy. It can plant anywhere in the abdominal cavity at that point. Most of the time, it will die because it has to plant in a well-vascularized region to be viable. Sometimes, it finds a good, bloody spot, and starts growing there. At that point it's essentially a tumor, and if it can eat enough into a blood vessel, it can rupture and bleed like shit. You would think that millions of years of evolution would create a fallopian tube that opens up right to the ovary, but that's not the case. Getting tired and needing to sleep. I could have done so much shit if I hadn't had to sleep. Though really, I probably would have just still not done anything. A quick tap to the testicles renders a man useless for at least a solid 5 minutes. Ears being so fragile and irreparable. You can control your bladder and sphincter. Why of why isn't there a mechanism to hold in your period? Not being able to hold our breath long, quick oxygen usage. That something as important as the brain can stop functioning properly because of chemical imbalances. My personal greatest flaw in the human body has to be the immune system. Sure, I bet a lot of you have perfectly functional immune systems, but mine has decided my gastrointestinal tract is the enemy and must be eliminated at all costs. So basically whatever programming error led to my Crohn's disease, that's the biggest flaw. We're physiologically built to have sex with as many people as possible as soon as we hit puberty, but practically, socially, and psychologically, that's a really bad idea. The brain should be better secured in the head. Rattling the brain inside the skull can mess a person up, so if it was more secure it would be safer. Right now my shin is itchy for no goddamn reason. I think that's a pretty big flaw. That an amusement park doubles as a waste management center. Too many pain receptors on feet. Tumors. Organ ruptures caused by typical functions going wrong. Many things about pregnancy. Periods and ovarian cysts. Also, for women, that the urethra is so short and so close to the vagina and anus. Overstoring fat. I mean, I get hanging onto 20 pounds of the stuff just in case you need to tap into that energy, but at 50, 100, 300 pounds our bodies are still like, well better still stock up, you never know if we'll find any food this upcoming year. Periods. 
Most other animals who have a menstruation cycle, or something like it, reabsorb the uterine lining rather than shedding it out and causing women to suffer from painful bleeding out of their vaginas for five to six days once a month. The amount of time it takes for us to grow and mature to a level where we are able to contribute and not be 100% dependent on our parents' family unit. Or the fact we have a useless organ that randomly ruptures and will kill you if you don't seek treatment for it. The pain and complications associated with giving birth. Giraffes can birth a whole tiny giraffe hooves and all and go about their day, yet women are still enduring massive amounts of pain and or death during childbirth. It seems evolutionarily unproductive. The genitals aren't protected by any bones and are utterly fragile. Our lumbar and ass aren't really that great at holding us up and this is why everyone has back problems regardless of whether they spend their lives working out, sitting in a chair, or in between. Evolutionarily, we should have spent more time in trees waiting for our muscles and such to develop more to support the greater half of our bodies being held upright without destroying the system that's meant to do exactly that. Water tube and breathing tube are same tube sad face. Periods. Not even fucking rats have them. Wisdom teeth. They were useful when we used to have bigger jaws, but now they often cause pain and infection. The brain hardware has some compatibility issues with the software. I.e. patch random boners, aggression instinct, need for attention, staring at boobs and affection for shiny stuff then we can talk. Self-awareness. Getting a boner, sexually excited for no reason, and often at the wrong time. Physician here. Testes only work when they are located outside the body at the junction of two limbs that converge, funneling many stray objects towards them. The low back. OMG don't get me started. Clotting is so complex it's no wonder it messes up so often. Sinuses. Like, dot why? And why do the holes leading into them need to be so small? The immune system is really bad at stopping things it needs to stop and it's really good at damaging the body. We evolved on this planet, so why is the light of the sun too bright for us to tolerate? Our bodies like to store fat, in our arteries? Sometimes, the baby's head won't fit through the pelvis. 8a Even by mammal standards, our newborns are remarkably ill-equipped. A newborn dog can crawl. A newborn horse can walk. We take a year to walk and almost two decades until we can fend for ourselves. All think of more. The brain. If you don't treat it right, it can fuck you up. Having you believing you need something when you know it's bad for you. Make you think horrible things and sometimes do horrible things. If you don't feed it positive information, you can grow up believing in evil or ignorant things. And it controls everything. Definitely motion sickness. That thing our brains do where we walk into a room only to instantly forget why we went in there in the first place. Periods. As someone who never wants kids I'm always reminded of how pointless the whole process is for me. Cranial and neck structure. One wrong bump of the head and you can suffer serious injury or death. The female reproductive system. The urethra is too close to the anus, vaginal opening. This can cause lots of UTIs if we aren't careful. Our hips are nearly too narrow to birth our babies. We can literally split our vagina into our anus while giving birth. Also the monthly bleeding thing, I'm fucking over it and I've still got a good 20 to 30 years of it left. It's a damned inconvenience on its best days and a nightmare of literal blood and pain on its worst days. Birth and pregnancy are way too tasking on a woman. Like, other animals can hunt, run, play, etc. literally hours before having to give birth, can get up right afterwards, don't have to take care of their kids for years, and their babies, you know, actually fit when they're being birthed. We literally can't even give birth right. Women used to die all the damn time before we made medical advances because our bodies are not fit to birth our own children, which biologically, is the entire fucking point of life. Too many teeth in too little space. Gets easily fucked up, and you keep randomly biting your tongue, lips, cheeks somehow. Compensation, an extreme example. Problem in one part of spine, muscles on the other side start to compress it. Pelvis becomes misaligned because back is not functioning symmetrically. Now, spinal problem has made the entire back spasm to support, walking hurts, probably more prone to headaches now, etc. Eyelashes and how they always find a way into my fucking eyes. IKR mine are so fucking long so they lodge themselves like 3 inches in my eye. Babies, in general. 
Like most all other babies are born and are fairly self-sufficient or minimally dependent, with exceptions for certain animals I admit, but human babies are just crying poop machines for like approximately three years. Humans are the only mammals where the birth canal is too small to properly give birth to offspring. Childbirth isn't supposed to be painful, difficult, or time-consuming. However, due to humanity's evolution to bipedalism, the pelvis shrunk and reshaped itself for a standing position. This change allowed humanity to become more mobile and flexible, but at a serious cost. Where neovascularization, new blood vessel growth, of the eye takes place. Your diabetic and your retina isn't getting enough oxygen? Let's make new blood vessels on top of the retina and cause things like retinal detachments. You've got macular degeneration and need more oxygen too? Let's grow some under your retina and make you need shots in your eye. The front of the eye also can develop new blood vessels but this commonly takes place in the angle, the drainage area for aqueous. This leads to extremely high eye pressure and glaucoma. Some of this has already been stated, but cancer, aneurysms, mental illness, and menstrual cycles. 